Hi, <laughs> I thought I'd show you a, um, an update from yesterday's retwist using... And if you uh, carry on to the end of the video, you'll see tomorrow as well. Oh, here comes the cat. No, Mima. Oh, oh my gosh, yes, well, <laughs> realities of filming at home with the pets. And she's done it again. Come on, move. You can see how I wouldn't really want this, um, the hair of my cats embedded into my locks. Um, right, so, <laughs> start again. All right, here's a little update just to show what it looks like the morning after. Now, the hold is firm. I mean, really firm. I'm not saying I'm in love with the, the look. And if you're into really manicured, tidy hair, well, you know, turn off now. <laughs> I'm not into that. Um, and uh, yes, so this compared to the, the commercial gel. Okay, so the best thing, not sticky, no stickiness. Uh, which is huge. Uh, yeah, it's quite stiff, crunchy, but that's well, it's not really crunchy. Maybe you can hear it. Really crunchy. It's stiff, but then that's what the hold does. I'm assuming that's what it's like. Um, and the other thing I forgot to mention was um, there's no smell, which is a biggie actually, because when I use the uh, commercial gel, um, even though the smell wasn't unpleasant, I found that after two, two weeks, two and a bit weeks, uh, I really wanted to wash my hair. It, it, it just, it had that, it had a smell about it. Again, not a horrible, stinky, disgusting, not washed smell, just a, an odour which is, is unnecessary. I could notice it, whereas now with this gel, there's, there's, no, there's no smell and there's no stickiness. Now, I must say I did, before I applied uh, my homemade gel, I did spritz my hair with the rose water and um, vitamin E moisturizer. I do love Winnie. Um, yeah, I've just started following her. And there were some experiences of flakiness and I looked at someone else's and they said well if you put a little bit of oil on your hair and I don't mean like oil raw oil I'm talking about the rose water and vitamin E oil mixture then you won't have flakiness I did that and I don't have any flakiness so I don't know whether that's a coincidence or whether that tip helped it worked for me so that's the process I washed my hair and then I um, just spritzed it with the rose water vitamin E mixture. And then I applied the gel, which I must say, even though it was thick in consistency, uh, it, it, it was quite watery once I applied it. And I probably put on too much. I always overdo things. So I really did, you know, some of the locks, I was trying to twist them and my hands were just slipping off because I put too much on. So um, this is what it's like the day, the morning after. I sleep on a, a satin pillowcase. I didn't have my hair in a bonnet and actually I tie my hair up and when I woke up this morning, it all just, just come loose. So I don't particularly wrap and protect my hair overnight in that way, um, which is why it's probably just a little bit, um, well, not as manicured as, as perhaps some people like theirs. Um, and that's it really, just um, another thing I was going to show you was how some of the locks are, seem to be getting, um, well they're getting lumpy and bumpy and sort of one of them particularly, I won't be able to find it now, one of them is, is it's kind of got lots of ridges in it, it feels quite firm. So um, that's it basically. That's the morning after. Um, I do like to wear my hair on the side. I always did when my hair was loose, um, not locked. I like to wear my hair on the side. Don't ask me why, I just do. <laughs> and um, 
yeah, there's a fair amount of flexibility, so it's not absolutely rigid, but it's not sort of floppy soft, as if it had no product in it whatsoever. Um, yeah, and news last night from the UK government. Um, they put where I live into tier four. So um, everything's closed, well, apart from essential workplaces. But um, in other words, hairdressers are closed, hair salons are closed. So um, I was planning a visit, <laughs> a visit, because um, I haven't seen Wendy since she did my hair originally. But that looks like those plans are now cancelled, along with Christmas. Cancelled. So I'll see you maybe in April, maybe before. Keep safe. Hi. Day two of the flaxseed and raw honey gel that I made. I thought I'd keep um, literally a day by day uh, diary to show how, how it holds and how it lasts. So um, here we are. Um, this is it this morning. <laughs> I've, just, uh, I've just got up, had a shower. Oh yes, I did. Um, I did moisturize with the rose water and vitamin E uh, moisturiser. So, um, what effect that's having, who knows? Maybe a bit of shine, maybe a little bit of um, frizz control, I don't know. Um, so, should I show you the, the back? <laughs> Let me have a go. So, um, from the side, the side, and uh, from the other side. <laughs> side. Okay, let me have a go of showing the back. And here is the back. Quite flexible. And, and that's it for today. I'll, um, I'll do another video um, tomorrow to show you day three. Perhaps I'll just do it a week, a week's hold. Um, I'll just, I'll just see. It'd be interesting for me to, to uh, follow the the difference visually. So, um, oh, a few grey hairs coming, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. Um, yeah. See you tomorrow.